Hello everybody, Clint Seely here. As promised in my installation video, I said I would record my first experience inside the new Bernina Designer Plus software. We have a whole new layout, a brand new, completely redesigned graphic user interface. Uh, they redesigned this graphic user, user, ah, excuse me. They redesigned this graphic user interface to really be uh, user-friendly, consumer-friendly. As I said before, one of the complaints from the consumer was that all some of these wonderful tools that are buried very deep inside the software were hard to find. And a lot of people, a lot of digitizers didn't know all the cool, wonderful things that they could do. So as you can see here, Bernina has definitely stepped up to the plate They've listened and they've completely re redesigned the graphic user interface. It looks very smooth, very pleasing to the eye. <clears throat> One thing that I noticed right off the bat is this toolbox on the left. Instead of just having a bunch of buttons here, we have a toolbox where all of the tools are organized in a very smart way. Here, if you click, the edit tools should drop down. We have all the edit tools then all the digiti auto digitizing tools, regular digitizing tools, um, and some new things you're going to see in here, uh, like punch work. Very excited to uh, see what the punch work tool does. We have a stump work section. I'm very excited to get started on stump work. And then like a mirror, an auto arrange. We may be able to create our own custom menus here too. I don't know that yet. I'm just, just saying. Um, so let me leave this on, uh, yeah, let me leave that on digitized. And let's look around. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, another thing that people uh, didn't like is getting trapped in the metric system. Um, the U.S. customers uh, really didn't like this because we're just not used to the metric system and everything on the rulers and the size and the dimensions being in metric uh, was kind of a pain so you can see right here we have a nice little measurement units box and you can toggle from US to metric right on the fly that's really cool that's really cool everything looks really clean I'm gonna come back to this we'll spend some more time in this section color film look these things just auto just pop out automatically this is pretty cool I like it it looks great if you remember from my installation video, one of the things that I was really excited to find out about, and I can't wait to get over to the art canvas, is the new Corel Draw Essentials X6. I did a Google search for this program online and came up with nothing, so I have no way of knowing if they've added uh, any new features to the stripped-down model of Corel Draw that we use in this in this designing in this digitizing software. One of the tools that I'm very uh, very much anticipating seeing, hopefully, fingers crossed, is the auto trace feature. So let's switch over to auto uh, art canvas, and let's see. That's really what I want to I want to see. So here we are. It looks pretty much the same. There may be some new things, and we'll get into that a little later on. Let's go to our import. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import a bitmap image. Here's some things that I scanned in. I have a little folder called Mandela, and what I, I like to go around to different dollar stores and whatnot, finding really nice coloring books that have nice clean shapes. Mandela, the Mandela theme is, is one of those. And I scan those pages in, and I, I create designs and digitize with those scans. So here's one. I'm gonna go ahead and import that dude. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, let me press enter. And, oh, looky here. When we, when, <laughs> this is good news, folks. This is really good news. So now I have all kinds of new tutorials in my head that I'm going to start recording and posting for y'all. We have the quick trace function right here. It might not be the full version of trace, but we do have quick trace. When you insert a bitmap, especially something like a line drawing like this, a scan, you can then use the quick trace button. Let's go over to the object manager so you can see it happen. This is a tool I'm very familiar with. 
but y'all might not be familiar with it because you've been using the stripped down model or the older version of Corel Draw Essentials, the version four. We now have six. So let me let me just do this um, kind of quick. This is not a tutorial. I'm just gonna see what it'll do. Follow along. So I have the image selected. I'm gonna hit quick trace and see what it does. The quick trace function, looky over here. It's created 51 new objects and there's probably that many right here inside this design. And you'll see they're all curves. They come in as curves. I'm gonna go here and just go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and delete away the bitmap image. And now everything that you see is vector. Now when we when we zoom in, you'll see. See how clean these lines are? And as we mouse over, it's gonna say edge and node, things like that. That means we're dealing with vector art now. So this is really cool. This is going to save some steps, and we might not have to do so much of the Inkscape stuff. We can do it right right inside uh, the Bernina Designer Plus V7 software now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just to see how quickly this happens and how powerful it is, I'm going to ungroup all. And then I'm going to colorize some of this. I'm going to get rid of some of it. There's be a, a background here. Let me colorize it so you can see what I'm talking about. We obviously don't want to make that stitches, so I'm going to delete that away. Okay. I don't really want this ring. I'm going to delete that. This black background, I don't want that. I'm going to delete that. Maybe this background. We'll get rid of that one. We'll get rid of that one. I'll create a tutorial in the future. Don't worry. I'll create a tutorial that will um, explain how to do all of what I just did. Um, let's let's colorize a little bit of this. Now this isn't necessarily the color of thread we would be using. This is the process that we use for digitizing. So when we auto digitize, everything comes out clean. So what I'm gonna do is select my eyedropper, grab that color. I'm gonna do every other one. Boop, nope. As you can see, I'm a little rusty. There we go. So boom, boom, boom. I'll show you how to use this tool later on. I just want to show you what we can do now using importing a scan or a picture or a bitmap using just clicking one button and quick tracing that, that item and making it vector art. This is really nice. Let's make this guy yellow. All right, boom. Boom. Look how easy this is, colorizing this whole thing. That's nice. We'll make the inside yellow as well. Now, what color to make this ring? I will just make that ring red. And now these, are, let's see, let's do an orange. And I'm going to skip every two here. Just like orange. So... Orange, 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 orange. So there we go. And like I said, this is, might not be the colors that you want to use. I'm going to show you all kinds of really cool things that you're going to be able to do. This is very exciting. Let's make it a green. And then what should the last color be? Ah, oh, geez, maybe purple? I don't know. All right. So now, it's almost ready to digitize. You see these black outlines? I don't necessarily want those there for what I'm gonna work. Uh, for what I need, I don't need those black outlines there. We can take any of these objects and we can outline them inside the digitizing canvas for a much cleaner, even look. So let me, I'm gonna get rid of these black lines. Let me see, delete that one. That got rid of quite a few. Let's see if I can find another one because I've got one right here. Where's that guy? Let me delete that guy. All right. So here, here I've got, look how quick that happened. That's beautiful. I'm going to resize it now. We'll just select everything 
and come down to something that's workable. Uh, that's still, you can see here, still too big. Let's come down to maybe six inches by six inches. There, everything's selected. Now, watch. We'll just hit convert. Hopefully, the, look at there. Boom. Auto digitized. And you've got, these are all their own separate elements for editing. And now we can edit these, all of these objects and go a, a step deeper. That's great. Look at that. You didn't have to draw anything. You just, I just scanned in a nice clean image, quick trace, colorize, auto convert. Bam. This is great. Now this is just a first look. This was not a tutorial, but you can get a really good idea of some of the new tools that are going to be at your disposal. This is very, very exciting. Okay, I will talk to you all later. I will keep turning out these tutorials. Look forward to seeing you soon.